you reserve the right to sanction the crown prince in the future if deemed necessary, right? Of course, we reserve the right to take any action at a time and manner of our choosing. I will note, Steve, that uh, historically, uh, the United States, through Democratic and Republican presidents, has not typically sanctioned government leaders of uh, countries where we have uh, diplomatic relations. The president has been clear to his team, and he's been clear publicly, that the relationship is not going to look like what it's looked like in the past. And even before the release of the port report on Friday, we had taken actions as an administration to make that clear through diplomatic conversations to our partners and allies in the region and through our actions. And that includes uh, a, count a change in how we are communicating with the Saudis, counterpart to counterpart, going back to uh, that appropriate line of communication. It includes not holding back and raising concerns about human rights abuses. We did see last month that Saudi Arabia did release two uh, dual national prisoners and women's rights activists. It includes uh, pulling back from our support from the war in Yemen. But it's important to also note that there are areas where we have an important relationship with Saudi Arabia, intelligence sharing, uh, also helping defend against the threats and the rocket attacks that they are getting, um, uh, you know, getting from uh, bad actors uh, right at their doorstep. And, you know, global diplomacy requires um, holding uh, countries accountable when needed, but also acting in the national interest of the United States. And that's exactly what the president's trying to do.